guys it's Alex I know you're probably like oh my god who's Alex is this like a new character no just me um so for a long time I went by Allison for almost my whole life um just this year in about February I was discovering like oh my god I feel like this well, actually, before, in February, I was kind of like, okay, I feel like this is not going to be able to change myself. Hi. I'm transgender. No, this shouldn't change your opinion on me, of course. I am still the same silly old kid, awkward and all, that you've been watching for, I don't know, however. Um, I'm still me. Nothing drastically is going to change. Just calling myself Alex and not birth name. Um, if you, today is National Coming Out Day. It is. It's um, October 11th. So, I look at all these people who are coming out today, and I've already come out to everyone like around me because I couldn't keep this a secret any longer. So now I'm coming up to you guys, um, I guess, just like any coming up video, I'm sorry, I had to adjust my camera, I'm going to describe to you how I found out that I was transgender. Um, I guess it all kind of started in about third grade. They just, I'm sorry, I'm like breathing really heavily. So like, you know how they would always separate you guys, like boys and girls? I almost left the boys once that's where I thought I belonged and obviously I didn't so and then I went over to the girls side and I called that good but then I was really uncomfortable like with things you shouldn't be uncomfortable about like I don't know doing these like simple tasks tasks like going over to the girls side of the sports thing for gym like that's really easy right but for me I always wanted to go to, over to the boys side and that just wasn't how it was one time in fifth grade I almost went over to the boys side and I almost stayed there but my gym teacher yelled at me and told me to go over to the girls I didn't know what was happening, so I tried desperately to make myself go back to the way I was whenever I was in, like, first grade. I wore dresses, I did my makeup, I played with dolls. I had fun playing with dolls. But then I had more fun not playing with dolls and just watching YouTube and being on the internet. Um, which was considered mostly a boy thing whenever I was in first grade and stuff. I don't really know why, because everyone was like, oh, only girls can watch beauty bloggers, but I was the only girl watching PewDiePie, and PewDiePie wasn't a thing in 2011, never mind. I was the only person who was kind of watching like, oh, this is mostly for boys. I was the one oddball. Not necessarily a good thing. I guess I mostly were friends with boys I tried to I tried my best to become friends with girls but they just didn't make me feel right for fifth grade I had a lot of girlfriends I was like hey I want to be friends with girls so I basically forced myself like I had fun with you if you were one of those friends in fifth grade that I had for a girlfriend um thank you for being my friend by the way no matter how awkward I was so I had like this goal in sixth grade to feel like a girl, to mentally feel like a girl, not like how I feel now. Um, so I wore dresses for a little while, but then I was like, wait, but I don't feel like this. Why should I try to make myself feel like this? Why am I trying to change myself so I will fit into the mold that you have made for me? I am not an ice, I'm not a piece of water that you can just dump into an ice tray and fit that mold to where girls like cooking and beauty and fashion 
I am not water. I can't bend and mold into what you want me to be. I am human. I have feelings and wishes and desires. Um, I do not identify with female. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. I wish I didn't feel like this way. It's horrible. It's so bad. Like, I look at myself and I see what's not supposed to be there, not what is good about my body. Like, I can't think of anything right now. Like, I guess my hair. My hair is pretty masculine. You'd see a few boys, at least, with this haircut. Um... My nose, my nose doesn't look like a female's if you covered up the rest of my face. Illuminati confirmed. Um, I look at these boys and how comfortable they are and I think I'm supposed to be with them. Not these confident girls. But for a long time I tried to trick myself into thinking that I was one of those confident girls. But whenever I was one of those boys. Um... As of right now, I'm going by Alex. Also, if you have something that you want to tell somebody, tell them. Please tell them. And if they don't accept you, talk to me. I will accept you no matter what you are. If you're not a racist or a sexist or any of those other people who discriminate against a group of people who have no control over what they are doing, how they feel, like... Homosexuality, if you hate homo homosexuals, I don't understand why they're not doing anything to affect you, are they? And same thing for gay people. If you are a homosexual and you don't like straight people, why not? They just like the opposite gender. Um, if you have someone to tell somebody, please go tell them. It won't hurt if it's your parents and you feel like you might get in trouble or you might get physically damaged if you are part of the LGBTQ plus community um don't tell them please I don't want any of you guys to get hurt just look at yourself and go this is how I feel and how I feel is okay if you feel like you identify as a girl whenever you are physically a boy you are okay you are perfectly valid there are so many support groups, so many on all different forms of social media. If you feel like you need to talk to somebody who feels the same way, go talk to somebody, please. Don't just keep it all building up. And also, like, if you can't tell somebody, like, leave, keep a journal, please. Or, like, at least write down how you feel. It might really help. Anyways, this was just, like, my eight-minute talking about how I feel, what I wish you guys would do. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys all so much. Please do not hurt yourself. Please remember to eat, drink, sleep. Don't deprive yourself of any basic needs. I love you guys so much. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. And bye!